All right, well, they talked about Brees Hall because that's really the story of the offense today. Yeah. Brees Hall, 20 carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns when it comes to the, the ground attack, receiving 12 receptions, 96 yards, so 191 yards from scrimmage. What would you see out of Brees Hall today, Connor? Well, obviously the effort to get him the ball, and also when he had a lane, he Ooh. stuck his foot in the ground and got downhill. I think that was the key with Brees because he always has the talent. I think my favorite thing about him, and we don't get to talk about it a lot because the Jets haven't been in a position in the second half to play with the lead, is he can really wear out a defense. You see it right here. I mean, his ability to run through contact and tire out defenders to the point where they're second-guessing how they are tackling uh, in the open field, and then he's got the gas for the breakaway speed. The body control on the touchdown to get that ball across the plane was just insane. And the fact that you have a guy like Trevor Simeon that legitimately could not throw the ball further than 12 yards today. He was able to, you know, trust Hall on those checkdowns over and over again. And it was effective and enough for the Jets to win. Yeah, credit, uh, I said it earlier in the pregame, you get him to the second level, he's going to finish the bottom line. So you got to give credit to Rucker and your boy and those guys for yeah. really putting a body on a body and allow him to put his feet in the second level where he can be actually a, you know, a hammer against the secondary. But overall, man, this is what he can do, right? Like we talked about it all year, get him early, get him going early in the offense and you're going to receive the better side of it. Um, what's great about him going forward is hopefully this is kind of a bookmark for what he can do next year. You know what I mean? Like, listen, yeah. as much as we love Aaron Rodgers and we expect him to be the miracle worker, but let him be the offense. Let, let the offense go through Brees Hall, and you're going to have days like this. So I thought he did a hell of a job, but credit to support and cast, man. They really blocked it up today for him. Man, I'm sure Aaron Rodgers would be the first one to say thank you for not putting <laughs> it all on me. I mean, we saw his last couple of years, it was A.J. Dillon and it was yep. like Aaron Jones. Like, it was physical running game, right, which opens up those mm -hmm. opportunities to throw the ball down the field behind the, safe, the linebackers in front of the safeties. And listen, I, you know, it, it's crazy that Washington didn't realize that um, um, Trevor Simeon couldn't throw the ball more than 10 yards, even on the two-minute drill. Like, they, they're just giving it to Brees. Understand they have all their timeouts. And I thought it was excellent use of the clock and understanding that you didn't have to push the ball down the field. Let's just run everybody off. And Brees Hall coming out of the backfield, yep. you know, two, three yards out of the backfield, he's turning that into five to ten because that's what he can do because you're not going to tackle him one-on-one -on -one in open space. This is a tremendous play right here, reminiscent of T. Higgins from the week before, coming back to Werberfall to understand he has to spin and get the ball out extension before his feet. So that he's a playmaker, right? So you talk about it. It, it, it didn't seem like he was forced, so it was overuse of Brees Hall, right? It looked like it was just a perfect balance, even when yeah. Izzy came in. Yeah. Yeah. It was a That's perfect use, so it's like balance. But this is how a team is supposed to play. You're supposed <laughs> to have balance on offense. That's what I understand what Nathaniel Hackett doesn't understand. You want to have maybe 60-40, maybe 40% running the ball, 60% passing the ball. Okay, maybe 60% passing the ball if you go up with a big score like you did before. But it's also how if you have a big lead, then you can salt the game way and allow the defense yep. to play the way that it needs to play based on complementary football.